Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Waldo. I'm back in my campaign of Pop on the Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we were able to conquer the Sorceress Fortress, and we did also some battles down south in the vicinity of Maze. And um, this time, I don't know what to do. Probably this level 4 army should go up because there are so many level 5 armies, and this 7 army should go down because there is this level 6 army. Who knows? What's this? This is a level 1 army. Pixies and Rangers. Okay. Ah, yeah, they transported some people to some whatever. Let's move up, like here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put these together. Okay, um, so probably we'll take these guys and move upwards because it looks like there are some easier foes up there. Let's travel there. Ah, oh, there is no... Oh, so, oh, okay, we are, we are done here. Level 7 army. How about you moving back? And then here. It's interesting. Yeah, and that's it. So, okay, let's move outside here and let's take a nap. Because we came here last night and we were not sleeping in between uh, coming here and uh, getting into the city. So, we will do the nap first. Also, afterwards we can use we can move the armies again. Let's see if we can also do some other things in the city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's take a nap. assassins have any hobbies? Knitting, embroidery, pottery? Interesting question, lad. I tie strong knots and snares that tighten in an instant. I suppose you'd call that macrame? Hmm. Interesting. This was rather, rather fast. <laughs> I'm impressed. Probably the game is, is getting faster again. Or <laughs> it gets used to um, gets used to Windows Eleven. Okay, 
kernel, what do we have to do? This looks different now. I mean, it's all closed. The outcasts are lesser. Can it seems to be uh, the beautiful part are run ah no we can't take this an unknown masked figure yeah we also know this already battered spirit what's that wait for the result the commander did everything in his power to ensure that Irabeth could establish herself as leader of the Dresden Crusaders all that remains is to watch and wait. Really? That's what we can do? Written of the Eon Dragon versus a piracy of silence. Not everyone states the problems directly. The commander must discern the subtle hints of when, yeah, whatever. What's this? While the world boils. We did all this. Okay. Ah, oh, but this is not. I see. I see. Crusade quests. Middle game. Maximize all crusade stats. And Iran's. We did most of the Iran's. Okay, but we don't know where the storyteller is. He just he just evaporated in fine air. So we probably should use the jet for stuff. Let's see. We have some stuff here now. There's something interesting there. Bellowing howl. Nah. Yeah, something interesting. Robe of order. Accessories. This braces allow the wearer to cast healing spell without provoking an act of opportunity. A plus two bonus on concentration. It's something for Nanyo. No, not Nanyo. Ember, probably. Yep. Ember is a good idea. A. Hey. More stuff needed. Ah, I could have put this inside the box, but yeah. Who knows if we really. So, is there anything new since we slept? Don't like that. Okay, then let's look into the city again. Um, let's see if we can find some more to do. To the streets. Night gamblers, the burden of the Aeon. I don't know what we should do with the Night Gambler. I mean, we were at the temple and we were at the... military, but didn't find anything interesting there. Let's move to the temple first and...
Yeah, probably not. Let's move out. And also, when we talk to Sosia, we can't speak about this thing. I don't know. Okay, it's a black screen. That's not good, is it? Come on. I mean, we could speak to all of the people and try to get their um, things fixed. Yeah. I'll see them. We talk to them. Where is the cemetery? Direction. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, no, this is a shrine. Don't need that. Noble, noble peasant. Uh, Noble, noble, just people. Can we talk to them? No, we can't. This one is just a citizen. We can't talk to them. Mm -hmm. You? No, we can't talk to you either. What is inside there? Nothing. <laughs> it, oh, we can't talk to this guy. Is there anything? Or anyone we can talk to. No. Okay, there is nothing in the cemetery, so I really don't know what to do there. It's probably only in the midnight. I mean, I was here also at 12 in the, in the night. Hello? So current time is 22.08, so if we wait two hours, it's in the middle of the night, probably now we find them. We didn't find them one hour night. 
So probably that was the reason why we didn't find anything, because they gamble there at night. But on the other hand, hmm. I'm not sure if this this game is so intelligent designed that it's when you are at one point uh, you are at different points <laughs> too tall. And my computer is so slow in doing the calculations. But on the other hand, he's much faster than I would be doing the thing. Yeah, so probably not so important. And it's not going forwards. Thank you. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? I was waiting there to find some... <sighs> and what are you doing? Taryn looks a little, the merest trifle more serious than usual. Slotty about fast, we need to talk under strict confidence. I'm going to invite you to a not a date. Yes, you heard me correctly, a not a date. If by some chance you imagine you see buying cushions and treats laid out before you, you should know that it is merely an optical illusion. First you give me roses that have nothing to do with courting me, then you run me a bath under the pretext of the commander needs to wash and now this. Great, I actually have some free time for a not a date. No, and don't ever propose anything like this ever again. <laughs> well, we are. Let's do the not a date. Uh, Darren offers his hand to you gallantly. Allow me, my lord. Why not? I mean, we asked him first, so... <laughs> I, I don't want to know how the game is, is doing with all this. They probably don't have any sex scenes in the second time, so all of my viewers will be on the safe side. I will not have to blur anything pretty cool like that. Well, this was a not a date. It 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 took eighteen hours. <laughs> what did we do on our not a date? Probably marrying or something. I mean, in the game there are a lot of same-sex couples. Like Sila and her girlfriend, and um, Irabeth and Anivia. <laughs> so, ooh. The longer he spends alone with you, the more Darren seems to shed his usual effigy. His hair is tousled, and the ties on his shirt have been loosened. He sits back, looking completely at ease, while his hands are lively and elegantly expressive, punctuated with speech. The Count's gaze catches on your new access. I see that my little gift found its way to you. I'm glad you're wearing it. Do I? <laughs> so... Here we are, alone, at this utterly insignific insignificant, tedious business meeting, 
would you be so kind as to suggest a conversation starter? We need something boring and practical to talk about. Boring and practical, as you know, is not exactly my problem. Best ways to scrub poetry. Poetry? Uh, that would be too easy, would it? I think the best way to scrub poetry. Oh, this is the perfect topic for me. I possess such a vast experience in this air arena, after all. So, pots. Hmm. I know of their existence, so that's a start. I first encountered the necessity of scrubbing pots after joining your delightful party. You may be familiar with the remarkable sensation when you make a new acquaintance, but you instantly hate everything about them. Well, that sums up my attitude towards pots. Oh, I could spend hours describing my loathing for them. Darren's eyes sparkled, teasing. Are you absolutely positive you don't want me to stop now? Well, we could kiss him. Mm. You drove yourself into the trap. Now you must continue. That's enough. Let's stop this here. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Darren holds back at first, teasingly refusing to return your kiss. But a few moments pass and suddenly he's kissing you back with passion. Probably the younger um, audience has to close their ears later on. I wonder if I should come to regret this. You are dangerous, I know it. Uh... Cuddle up to Darren, I'm no danger to you. Stop running away from me. Lift his chin with your hand and look into his eyes. If you try to pass this off as another one of your jokes, I'll send you back to end of immediately on a donkey. Naked. Hmm. So, what are you waiting for? Should we tease him more? <laughs> Why not? Threats and passion. For some reason, I find this combination highly attractive. I don't think that we can do anything wrong by now. Darren removes your hand from his face, but he doesn't move back. Instead, he leans forward as if for a kiss. Another one? And now we're gone. So, that's the way nerds fantasize romantic scenes <laughs> with a lot of mockery and another 12 hours. Are you stupid? <laughs> I can't waste my time with this. Oh, and, and it's a scene where I have to read a lot. I'm tired. Inexplicable power lies in the force that draws mortal bodies and souls to each other. If there was a way to measure it and compare it to other forces in the universe, it could prove to be comparable with gravity between the planets. It's not gravity between the planets, it's gravity between masses. But this force is as fragile as it is mighty. Sometimes its emergence can lead to unexpected and irreversible consequences. Night falls and with it com the commander drifts off into deep sleep. Dreams he sees himself from outside his body, himself and Darren. The two lie next to each other, their hands joined, their breathing slow and deep. The young count's hair gleams with a soft golden almost invisible in the light of day. But in the dark of night, it is unmistakable and bewitching. Then the commander realizes. Then the commander realizes is that he is not simply seeing himself from the outside in this dream. He is seeing himself through someone else's eyes. Someone is near. 
they are watching from the darkness, watching closely but indifferently. Or perhaps the commander can sense only the gaze, but not the emotion of the visible observer. The observer's attention is fixed on the naked body. The observer does not move. They make no attempt to turn away or come closer. They simply watch and watch and watch. Um, in German it's Spanner. Slatibad fast tells himself to wake up, gives himself over to the dream. Yeah, well... Hmm. I mean, this this will be probably the ghost inside of Darren that killed all the people there. Because not Darren killed them, but his his demon he got inside himself. It's not a demon, it's something else. Stronger than demons. Uh, should we wake up? Probably. Or should we look for farther? This is more... Alibar Fast lets the strange vision take over the hours of night drag on and on and nothing changes. Travel continues to sleep exhausted from love making. Someone is watching only at the very break of dawn. Blah blah blah. blah. Wake up. Hey. Is he rid of that? No, he's not. Okay, let's talk to him. Because we can. You know what I've been thinking about? Darren is battling his tousled hair, trying to make it look at, at least slightly tidy. Perhaps this crusade isn't so bad after all. At least I feel much happier now than I did back in my hedonistic days in Canabras. What a horrible thought. I feel like I'm betraying my ideals just saying it. You know, I had a dream about the two of us. I hope this not a day it won't be our last. Yeah, why not? Well, I can't promise that one day. I can't run away to Kalesh with a gang of handsome smugglers. But until that day comes, I am at your full disposal. Until next time. If you miss me, you know where to find me. Okay. So we were using two days or so. Ooh, another. Um, Lady Konomi, Commander, it is time for you to play a more prominent role in Mendev's politics. Fortunately, the ideal opportunity has just presented itself. A conflict is brewing in the capital. A clique of aristocrats is pleased with the Royal Council is scheming against Her Majesty's royal service. It's a usual power struggle. Something of this sort occurs every couple of years in any civilized society. Well, pretty sure this shouldn't happen in civilized societies. Your entrance on the political stage is long overdue. Given that your opinion in Mendev is outstandingly well respected, the Royal Council has decided to make use of it. They are expecting you to denounce publicly the nobles' attempts to challenge their rule. Okay. I suggest we publicly address Her Majesty and claim that we're being drawn into an intrigue. Let the Queen know that we are loyal only to her, not to any of her servants or so. Okay. Sounds like we're not the only ones board of the Royal Council, let us support the disgruntled nobles and cousin Gelfry's advisors will have too much on their plate to worry about us. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not doing this. Yeah, love a boy. Uh, I say we don't get involved in someone else's squabble. And just to make it clear, we'll write a public statement to the people of Mendev that will have the that will have the commander plainly say, You bickering your bickering is not my problem. Leave me alone. Why am I being 
called into men of intrigues. You're a part of those intrigues, whether you want it or not. Political influence is an unavoidable part of your position. In the hands of Mendev, you're a priceless tool that the Royal Council won't pass a single opportunity to use you for the good of the nation. Okay. Yeah, well, of course, because I'm fighting their fight. So I'll inform the Queen that we remain loyal to her. Darren, we will support Mendev's nobility plan. Have the address to the people prepared? No. Lady Konomi, we will support the Royal Council. What's this? Yeah, we will do this one. And I will see to it that the Royal Council does inadvertently forget to express their gratitude, Commander. A pleasure working with you. Yeah, of course, because this time I took your choice. Someone else, like the last time. This meeting is adjourned, but I'm certain that the crusade will soon require something new. Blah, blah, blah. Is someone else coming? Nope. Okay. As we were just two days uh, away... Let's just look there and see if something happened in between. Hmm. Also, we have already about 30 minutes, so we will stop here. I will do this in between episodes. Ah, opening diplomatic connection. Financing a crusade is a costly process. Blah, 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 blah. Diplomatic relations have improved. The diplomatic council, yeah. We are now level three, probably. Raid for plunder. The crusaders have returned from the raid. And you can leave. We added 11,000 finance points and 500 material points and 100 energy points. Nice. No events decrease. There is a new in decree. A bug. A skilled craftsman can do some the relic. Ah, oh, okay. One of the relics. Okay. Helping those in need. It's a diplomacy thing. Spending the funds for the crusade. The funds of the crusade. Commander will raise moral of the army and show that good deeds are more important for him than pompous ceremonies. We will increase the moral. Okay. Or, let's see, what is this? Military tribunal. Once a traitor, always a traitor. Lawbreaker is a criminal. Within the army. Now that Dresden is free, the commander's advisors finally have the opportunity to carry out this. Okay, what is this chance of skipping action? <sighs> okay, nice. Diplomacy, 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 diplomacy. Why can we do this? And we can't do this. I mean, this shouldn't be a problem. Just got 100 of these points and a lot of these. See, we've got 300 of this, 820,000. Interesting. 
probably because um oh but on also before we should have be able to do this Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Another decree. Oh, okay, we can't do this because there's another logic logistics there. Hmm. Should we do this right now? Is this for the end of the game? No, this is just just right now, and we have a hundred percent more rain. Yeah, even hundred and twenty percent. So we won't do this. Okay, my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.